this is Ginger from My Sister Scrapper. Today I want to share a really super cute little project with you. This project was actually inspired by one of my followers, Jill Partridge. Hi Jill. I had created a few weeks ago a little tiny mini album using some little miniature envelopes and it was a design team project for Better Be Scraps and I used the Tim Holtz Dapper Paper Collection. And she saw that so she made a little cute little mini album just like it and she used the Doodlebug under the sea papers and seriously who doesn't love doodle bug it's just darling well anyway she showed me pictures and it was super cute i shared it on my facebook page so i had to have one so <laughs> i went and got the paper and had to make one too so here you go on the front cover i used one of the little papers from the six by six it had all these cute little squares on it and i just fussy cut around them and then i had a stamp one up punch that's a little stamp and I stamped it I punched it out with some craft paper and then added the little elements on top this is one of the cutouts from the paper collection and I die cut a doily and this yellow is actually from doodlebug it's one of their not doodlebug it's from bow bunny it's their double dot paper I used some solid white cardstock for the spine and I used a Martha Stewart border punch for this I thought it kind of looked like bubbles cute little mermaids on the front and on the spine again a couple more of the little stamps and then here is the back and I added a little seagull stamp on the back and some more of that cute little border punch right here and some pink border paper. So again, it's really, really tiny. It measures three and a half by three and a half. And I did get my little envelopes at Michael's. So you open it up and on the inside front cover, some more of the design paper, some more of the cute little stamps that I created. I added some pretty little uh, lavender bling right here. And one of the cutouts right here, I did double mat my envelopes because they were thin and I used the craft from Basil right here. So here is the first little photo mat. Love the lavender. Super cute. And so it flips up like this. And I love the little orange starfish. Cute little crab right here. And then again another photo mat right here. Photo mats are three by three. So you flip it over and on the pullouts right here as I went ahead and added a layer of craft paper that I put on some dimensional foam tape and then used uh, some of the design paper right here and the little die cut for the craft paper was a lawn fawn die. It's the stitched squares and here's the pullout for this one. Love the little fish paper. Oh my gosh. Super, super cute. There's a little boy version that I'm going to work on uh, next, making the same one, only little boy colors. It's called Anchors Away, so stay tuned for that one. Again, a sweet little octopus stamp right here. Another photo mat. Cute little bubbles. Starfish. Oh my god. So adorable. And again, this little punch that I used around the edges is from Stampin' Up. It's the triple or the triple trio or something like that. It's getting ready to retire at the end of May. So if you want it, go to StampinUp.com and get it because it's really, really cute. And on the back, again, super cute little mermaid. And super cute pink paper right here. And over here, I have a little fish stamp. And another photo mat right here. And again, I have a tutorial already on my um, channel, but I did use larger envelopes in the tutorial, and it's the Say Cheese envelope tutorial. Again, I have another cute little stamp that I created right here. Cute photo mat. Love the cute little whales in the orange and the pink. <laughs> Just darling. Over here, again, I have a collection of all the cute little starfish and the seashells. And I used some more of that um, yellow Bow Bunny double dot paper right there. And they are covered on the back as well. Over here, I have the darling little turtle, the pink and green. Super cute. They are white on the back as, as well. Again, another cute little whale. Another little photo mat. So it's pretty simple, but this paper is just so stinking cute. The lovely little whale right there, and cute little blue shells. And on the last page, I have five pages in here. Cute little cutouts says Water Baby. Another photo mat. Love the cute little whale or the dolphin. Maybe it's a dolphin. Yeah, it's a dolphin. 
super cute photo mat. And over here I have the cute little seahorse and the little fish. And the purple. And on the back inside cover, I made a little belly band with the last of the cut aparts here. And um, I made three little tags. I have just a few of the little scraps left, so I wanted to use them up. And I did use my Stampin' Up! tag topper punch for this. And they are plain on the back. This is another cutout, and these are just some leftover scraps of the paper. So those go back in there. And that's the back. So there you go, everybody. That's my really cute little mini album that was inspired by Jill Partridge. Thanks, Jill. Using the Doodlebug Designs Under the Sea 6x6 paper collection. There you have it. Thanks for watching. Bye.